This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. You know, I get a lot of comments under my pull away test video of guys saying, basically, if she pulled away, I would just leave. I wouldn't accept that, blah, 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 blah. The point of the video was not to say that if a woman's pulling away, like, don't talk to her. The point was to, to highlight to guys that, yes, there are some women that pull away because they're complete a-holes and they just were ghosting a guy, whatever. But I found more often than not that most women are pulling away because the guy is doing something that causes them to get the little ick. And when a woman pulls away, initially, she's not pulling away with the intent to completely leave the guy. Her subconscious is pulling away from you as if to say, okay, I need to pull back a bit and give it and give it get a little break from this guy to see if maybe he maybe I'm viewing him as like you know overreaching or testing too much and maybe I'm tripping maybe he's not doing that but I need to pull back just to make sure that that he's not doing those things and then so men will be like she pulled away I'm out of here or she pulled away I gotta text her and ask and ask what's going on and in both those strategies are like horrible so again all these guys are saying like if she pulls away I'm just out of here they're not understanding that part of the natural progression of a relationship is there going to be some, there's going to be some push and pull. And so this guy left the comment that perfectly illustrates what I just told you guys. He said, geez, every dude in the comment says, leave her guys. The movement to and from your partner is a natural phase of the relationship. The keys to long-term commitment. Love is like a rubber band. When you pull away a little in life, that makes them want to come closer. When they start to pull away, it makes you want to be closer. All you got to do is not let the rubber band go limp or pull too hard until it snaps. So yeah, so picture this, right? Let's say you've gone out on a date with a girl three times. And after that third date, she you, you, you try to text her right after the date. And then the next day you text her again. And then you realize it's been a few hours since you sent your text and she hasn't responded back yet. This is the point where most guys panic or they say on oh, my thing, well, she pulled away, so I'm out. But what if you just said, you know what? I've been texting her a lot. Like Harry said, that one thing that makes a woman pull away is texting her too much. Maybe it's not that she doesn't like me anymore. Maybe it's just I'm texting too much and I need to give her a little bit of space and time to miss me. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just, I send her a text. I assume when she wants to see me or talk to me again, then she'll text me back. What if you just did that? Because I said, I find when I started doing that, I would realize, okay, I'm texting too much. I'm going to be patient and I would wait. Sure enough, the next day, Hey, Harry, what's going on? Hey, I want to see you tonight, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, so all I had to do was just let her pull away a little bit and not be the one that's not either pulling away as a result of that or trying to push forward to her and not let the slack go. And she pulled away a little bit. She got she got to feel a little bit of that tension. She started to miss me a little bit. And then she came right back. And that is what the pull away test does. The pull away test on the women's side, one, more often than not, it's not a conscious test, but subconsciously, She's pulling away to see if I create a little bit of tension between us, what's going to happen? Is he going to blow up in my face? Is he going to give me my time that I need and not freak out? Or is he going to be that guy that's like, huh, well, I'm running home with my ball and completely go away. This is all subconscious stuff. Women are not actively thinking about this part when they're pulling away. They're just th thinking, I'm feeling a thing. I don't know what it is. So I need to subconsciously not respond to him right away or not be with him for a minute just to see what's going on. At the point where she realizes, oh, okay, I created a little tension because I thought maybe he was texting too much, but he's not as obsessed as I thought he was. He's not as desperate as I thought he was. Okay, now, now I want to see him because it's been like a day. Then they come back to you. It's amazing. And hey, I get into a relationship with the women where I still let them know, hey, you know what? If you need a day to yourself, if you need your alone time, because I'm an introvert, I need my alone time. There's going to be days, babe, where I say, you know what? I just, I need to work on some stuff today and not see people. I will see you tomorrow. And I don't want the person that I'm dating to be like, you don't want to see me, but I mean it. How could you, you must not love me anymore. And I'm trying to be like, no, like I just, I just need my, my time. I, I still like you and love you. I just need my time. I don't like when I date women that don't understand that. So when women are like, I'm just subconsciously, I'm pulling away and then get all butthurt about it or try to chase them down, then is it any wonder that you would lose out to that? So you can't be afraid when women pull away. Now I have seen comments that said like, well, she pulled away, I would just ignore her. You should. Like when she pulls away, that is a sign to you that for whatever reason right now is not the time to be trying to chase her down with text or conversation. But I assure you, if you give that space subconsciously, she's going to feel as though, wow, he actually respected it when I pulled away a bit by not trying to chase me down. 
I can deal with this guy now because this is not a guy that's going to freak out on me or hurt me or harm me for being away for a little bit. And women need to feel that. This goes back to women are feelings-based people. And so all the dating all the dating choices that they're making are based on what is what they're being made to feel. So if you as the guy, for example, if you're texting her too much, she's starting to feel like there's overwhelm, so she backs away. At the point where you leave her alone, she starts to feel as if, wow, I was probably tripping. He wasn't trying to overwhelm me after all, and now they feel more safe to be around you again, and they come back. So this is why as a guy also, it behooves you to not be over-texting or over-communicating because you're going to lose out more often than not. There are women that will argue me all because this goes back to said earlier. When you tell women conscious things like, hey, you need a guy to not text you all the time, they're going to tell you that's a lie. I want my guy to text me nonstop because if he doesn't text me, he's playing games. Well, as a guy that has listened to that before and texted women every day for a month at a time, I can assure you by the end of that month, they, they go away. They ghost. They stop talking because even if it doesn't sound logical, for them to start stop to start losing interest simply because I'm texting them all the time to show interest. The reality is, in practice, that's what tends to happen. So again, you can't be afraid of when women pull away. Use women pulling away as news for you that something you're doing in the dating process at this moment in time is not working, and you need to scale back on something to get her to not pull away. Most men. I find it's going to be texting. If you find after three dates, and I hear this all the time, I've been texting her nonstop for two weeks, and then all of a sudden she ghosted. I don't know what's going on. And I'll tell the guy, okay, so stop texting. But that sounds silly, but do it. And then they'll do it. Hey, Harry, guess what? The girl started texting me again. Yeah, because she was able to feel less overwhelmed. So consider that, right? And speaking of that, actually, I did want to touch on this other thing too. There was a guy whose comment I said, and I've seen this kind of comment before, where the guy basically said, Hey, so I think I did something wrong. Um, I took a girl out and we had a good time. And so after the second date, I did let her know that I was getting feelings and I was feeling attraction. And even though I knew I shouldn't have done that, I did that. In the moment when I did that, she didn't react in any way. Like she didn't say that I shouldn't do that. She seemed to take it very, very fine. And we went on about with our date and it was all great. And then he said, the next time we tried to text her and call her for another date, she went ghost. And he couldn't understand what was going on because in the moment, everything seemed fine. And so this is a thing that I have seen time and time again, where a guy will say, I did a thing, I said a thing, I told her feelings, I over texted her, but she seemed to take it very well, but it wasn't a problem. I told her after date two that I had feelings for, and she seemed to take it in stride and didn't overreact to it. So she must be totally fine about that. And then fast forward to later where they can't talk to her anymore, right? And so this is something you're going to encounter in dating, right? Is that there are going to be moments in, in your dating life where you think because she didn't react to a thing that you in hindsight realized was probably not the right action to do, but she didn't respond unfavorably to it, that she was totally fine with it. And what I need you to understand is that just because in the moment a woman is making you think that whatever you said or did is completely fine, I can assure you more often than not, it probably wasn't. And most women in the moment aren't going to tell you directly, hey, that thing you said about having feelings for me is kind of awkward and now I feel kind of weird and I don't want to see you anymore. Or that woman you're over texting, if you text her, hey, so, you know, if I'm over texting you, you can just let me know. Oh no, I wouldn't, I would totally let you know if you were doing that. They're not going to let you know. Like they're rarely ever going to let you know that you're effing up. And I get it. Guys think if you just come to me and say, hey, that thing you said was weird or creepy or whatever, that I would just be like, I understand. I'll stop doing that thing. Like, why can't women just communicate using their words? And this is the same thing. This is the same way that women react when I tell them or when they hear me say to guys, hey, guys, don't reconfirm dates because when you reconfirm dates, I found most women are going to cancel. Women will think that's not true. I need to have a guy reconfirm right away because in saying it, it sounds like, well, if this thing happened, the logical thing would do to do this, this, and that. And so as a guy, it's very easy to say, if I did the wrong thing in the moment, a girl can just come to me and say I did the wrong thing and I would change it up. But women in their dating lives have found that when they do that, most men overreact. So to the point, if a guy were to say, hey, just so you know, I have feelings for you and it's, it's only date number two, but I already know that I like you. If a woman were to go to that guy 
and be like, hey, just so you know, like, I know it's been day two and we're getting to know each other, but like that thing you said about already having feelings for me, it actually kind of like weirded me out a bit. Cause I'm like, how do you already have feelings for me after two dates? Like I'm, I'm just starting to get to know you. And so my feelings aren't there yet. Now, what most guys will say is, well, I would just say, I appreciate you coming to me and telling me that because I just want you to know that my feelings aren't all the way there yet. I just want you to know that they're they're starting to build, but I get it, blah, blah, blah. No, what most guys would say, because I've had women write me saying, I told my my guy simply, for example, like, don't say I love you every day. Oh, how can you say that? I should be able to say I love you. Are you saying you don't love me anymore? Blah, blah, blah. So because women experience reactions like that in real time, they've just learned, okay, the next guy that says something weird, I won't tell him he said it weird because he's going to overreact. I'm just going to leave. And then men are like, but I would totally, no, you wouldn't. Like, realistically, guy, you sound just like the women that are trying to say, if a guy reconfirmed with me, I wouldn't cancel a date. Okay, but in practice, when I did that, that's what happened. So I can't go on what should work or what women are telling me will work. I got to go on my experience. So most women's experience of telling a guy directly, hey, that thing you said was weird, that joke was odd, hey, you keep texting me all the time, could you slow it down, is overreaction. Uh, you don't like me texting you, as if you're losing interest, what's going on? So I want you to understand that experience of women to get that, that when you do weird things or say weird things on dates with women, they're never going to tell you that you're doing the weird thing. More at most, they'll do some kind of passable body language like, huh, that's funny. Or, oh, yeah. And that should be the hint that you get that lets you know that she wasn't comfortable with what you did. But most women aren't going to do that. Most women are going to have the poker face. Oh, yeah, that's so great. I'm glad you have feelings for me. And they're going to get home. Get that guy out of my phone. He's feeling things over. It's weird. And is it fair? Honestly, my answer is yes. My answer is yes, because you as a guy should already know the ins and outs of what things to say and not say and do or, or the timing of things to do on these dates to make women feel more comfortable. If you don't know that, then that means that you are lacking a knowledge area that is going to be beneficial for you to know in your dating life. And so if you need help with that kind of stuff, I have the Introvert Dating Success Academy, which will walk you through the ins and outs of things to say and not say when you're on dates with women that are going to either draw them towards you or make them head for the hills. We don't want women that are dating you and agreeing to dates with you to head for the hills. So we need to learn to do more of the right things in front of women on dates that's going to actually attract them versus doing the wrong things that the media has told you to do, that women have told you to do, that aren't going to actually work for your dating life. So I encourage you to go to introvertdatingsuccess.com and check out what we have to offer in that program. All right? <laughs>